so in this video i will show you some very important points that you must uh, know as a navigator before you execute your plan and you put it to the monitoring mode and uh, after putting to monitoring mode you also have to remember these points so we'll start with the video first you go to the root planning once you go to the root planning here you can see i selected the already the root so once root is already selected whichever you like to, root you like to select just go to the load and you can select from here so i have already selected the root so once the root is here i will just see it and put it to the monitoring so it is showing must be checked so i will stop so it will show you the option check root once you check the root it is like this then you have to accept the root that is it is done and now you can put to the monitoring mode so once you click this monitoring it will send to the monitoring mode also you can close this one then next step what you have to do you must go to the monitoring and you just check it here that is the same plan you want to put it will be here or you can unload from here next thing important that you must know is safety alerts here you can set as per your requ required draft you can set your shallow contour deep contour and these settings which i have already and you can change them but these things you can only do from the master if you have to act this then you can only do the from the master so then next is a navigation alerts that you don't have to change or check any time so next thing that you must know is that once you have done these things now a root data is here so what you have to do is you just go to this bar and click root data once you click root data you will get to the root like this after this you have to go to the schedule option once you go to the schedule option you can put your root like in schedule it will calculate the distance and time required to the pilot station or whichever point you put so i will select it out that i need up till pilot station so once i put pilot station now this is the distance up to pilot station and this will be the eta as per the required now speed but sometime you need to maintain some eta and there are some instructions that you have to keep this eta to pilot station then you have to put your information here you can see here is quick calculation once you have to put the quick calculation it will calculate the required data like now we have to maintain on 4 on 4 we like to maintain 2100 hours ETA so I will just click it apply so now it is applied so required speed is 6.4 so this is how you can quick calculate your required speed so other thing that you must uh, do if, uh, while uh, executing the road uh, monitoring the other thing is most important is you can change your this at this time like now I am proceeding from India you can say to Qatar so Qatar time zone I can put directly so I will not be so this ACDIS will be showing all the time as per Qatar one so I will just change it for you guys so you can see I will just go to the option configuration once I go configuration I can see here time zone so I can change this time zone to 430 So once this is changed, now you can see the time here, time zone has also changed here, it's now 4.30. So it is calculating ETA and everything which it will show here according to this time which you selected. So 
I will just make it back again because we are on uh, uh, 530 time zone so after making uh, after putting your plan into the monitoring mode first step you have done is to check your safety parameters that is deep uh, shallow contour and uh, other settings deep contours and deep depth other thing you have to do is so second step you have to keep in mind is you have to consider this time zone so you can check the ETA and third thing is you can put your required speed or time manage that one as per your quick calculation and there is one more step that you should not forget that is maps I will go to the option maps so once I go in the maps options here you can select the maps which you have saved as per your requirement and as per your chart area in which you are sailing or you are going to sail so for now I have already loaded the maps or I will check it out for you like I like to load I just check that I like to load the maps which are already loaded they will that will not show here so loaded maps will always be here option so you can see the loaded maps are already put to monitoring so same like you just consider your map here just select your map once you select your map you can just click the load option so it will load the map so that's how these are four very important points that will complete your passage planning and I will just tell you in, uh, in uh, explained to you guys in detail so you can learn these things before uh, selling out.